Hey guys, welcome to episode 35 of the Disguy 5 Complete LP. Uh, let's get into it. Why don't you it, like then. to go, oh, dude? Nope, 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 nope. I was like, let's get, let's get right into it. Let's go do a mission. And then I looked over in the top right corner, and all these event things are going out. So, uh, my bad. Here's the hoping it's only like one or two. Hey, bro, how do you feel about Seraphina? Because they've never really addressed this. Or they have only like once. Why are you asking all of a sudden? I wanted to ask about that too. It seems Sarah is super interested in you because she has been literally since the first time they met. Although she thoroughly denies it. Sorry, is interested too. I want to know how Kilia feels. I have only ever thought of her as an ally who I fight alongside with. Like, super friend zoned. You don't feel anything when such a pretty girl throws herself at you and you call yourself a man, bro? Huh? Does that mean you're interested in Seraphina? Stop joking around. I don't have enough of lives to endure being with her. I don't have any special feelings towards Seraphina. However, she's contributed greatly to the Rebel Army. For example, with her pocket netherworld. That's why I know I have to thank her. Thank her? Seraphina heard that, she'd get depressed. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, she would, dude. Man, bro, you don't understand anything about girls. That's come from Zerokin. Who, I like Zerokin. But he's not the he's not a lady killer. Like I feel like the only girl he's ever been close to was probably Usalia, and that that's just like two similar children. That's Why would just you two like kids to go, dude? being kids. Kids just being kids, as Fairly Odd Parent Timmy Turner would say. Uh, cross Guardian. Okay, let's do this. Seraphina, what is taking you so long? Oh no, is she going to betray her father? Ah, she ran away from home and brought home a fiance. Spoiling her has backfired. Hey, you guys! Our guests will arrive soon. Take good care of them. But take extra care when handling my daughter, Serafina. Hey guys, get out of the way! Hey Sarah, looks like these jabronis want to fight us! I see, so he's already made the next move. Father, you're always quick to act in situations like this. What do you mean? Our objective is to destroy the final magical spear. We will not tolerate anyone standing in our way. Okay. Time to wreck some shite. Uh, this one is a relatively easy map, as it seems. Doesn't, uh... Don't seem to be any... Complications. Just 12 people. So. Let's go! Well, no time like the present, right? Neil! Leave it to me, Blip! Oh, yeah, those guys have super high demon resist, so I have no bother with that. I might as well just do it there. Yeah! Uh, as a Roken, yours is better. Slightly. Only slightly. Don't get um, super reckless! Yeah, I don't really need backing up. I guess I'll do this. Let's end this quick. Damn, Damn you! you. Yeah. Damn, Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! I'm fully expecting counters. Hey. I feel like. I feel like that guy's regular voice was. What is it? I see. For some reason, that reminds me of Yuri Loventhal, the voice of Sasuke from Naruto, doing a like a doing like a do cowboy voice. And now I'm curious. Heroic back. This is funny because she's it's mostly just attacking at Prinny. 
Let's go, go, go! Okay. Oh crap! Well, now you have oh, activated you. my jump card. You. How about it? Oh man. That would really suck. Oh damn, he's holding her. Um. Let's do it. Is that your you? of one of his higher end skills. Oh, it's so free. I can't keep going like this. I have to tell them all the truth. But I can't. What am I thinking? What do you think they'd all say if they found out that I'm poor now? But I don't think I can keep lying. If they're going to find out sooner or later, then I should tell them myself. No, I don't think I could stand them treating me like a poor person. They'll pity me for being poor, and laugh at me for being poor. I wouldn't be able to stand that. But I can't obey my father and let him sell them out to the lost. Huh, I just want to die. Okay. So this is actually like a... This is a plot line that is somewhat relatable. Not to me, but like... This is one that could easily be relatable for like other people. What? Because you know, no one, no one likes being poor. No one, because there's like a stigma that goes along with it. Want to see? And like you, you see it a lot with like people who are on like food stamps or whatnot. Like most of them, even though there's Wanna a general, see? like oh, like all the people on food stamps are bums type mindset. Well, not not everyone has that. Let's a lot fix of people you do. up. And it's just like. A lot of people are on food stamps and, like, the assisted living what? and whatnot. Not by, like, their own choices. They're, they're just dealt a bad hand in life. And it's not their fault. But they're not proud that they are on it. They're not proud that they're not able to pay for things that they need to live. They're not proud. Come on! They're not happy. They don't want to be pitied. They don't want to be laughed at for something that is, for the most part, like, sometimes uncontrollable. So, like, this is, like, even though this is coming from, like, oh, Serafina, like, it's in a video game, and it's, like, you're like, uh, like, you know none of the teammates are really gonna care, most likely, because, you know, whenever one of the characters is, has, like, oh, I don't, like, the team is gonna make fun of me, of course they're not gonna make fun of you, they're gonna be like, oh, shit, like, that sucks. And, like, you wanna... We want to help in some way, or we don't care. Like, that's not a part of you that we care about. But it's like, it's it's really like, a very true, worrisome thing that a lot of people are getting, like, stressed about. Uh, okay. Where would you like to go, dude? And... Gorgeous... Hulk. There it is, the magical spear. As I thought, it might not be stuck in the ground, but it's still absorbing the energy. Let's destroy it, Plank, quickly. No, everyone, it's a... What? <laughs> what is this? I can't move, damn it. Ah! How did I fall for such a simple trap? We came here to save this netherworld! Why are we being treated like this? You've fallen into my trap. Father! How is it, my guests? 
How does it feel to be captured in my overload skill, Rigid Rope Gallows? <sighs> I'll super destroy the overload of an overlord who was so scared of the lost he retired! Overload skill! Super Universe! Useless. My rigid rope gallows has a limited range, but once a prey has been captured, it cannot escape. What are you trying to do? We came here to save Gorgeous by destroying the magical spear. If you want to save this netherworld, then stay calm and sacrifice yourselves. If I turn the rebel army over to the lost, then they'll probably give me a lot of cash, right, Seraphina? You're gonna give us up? What's he talking about, sis? It would be harsh to force my daughter to speak the awful truth about Gorgeous. Very well, I'll tell you. Wait, father! Gorgeous has gone bankrupt. We have lost all the wealth that we once had, and we are now poor. Poor Pwip? Well, that's an obvious consequence of investing so much money in this sturdy shelter. So, what's the problem here? Huh? Is there a problem with you being poor? I was born, raised, and continue to be a proud poor person. Whether you're rich or poor, you're still Serafina. It doesn't change your status as our ally one bit. Sarkilia! Something burst inside Seraphina's heart. Zukyun? What was that? Ooh, this is a very Japanese this noise. Is body is... Seraphina is growing. Fear of being poor vanished from Seraphina's heart. Also, your feeling toward Krillia grew on their own. Seraphina's overload skill, Baylor Gaze, has evolved into the overload skill. I was Fuck. such a fool. So I always fast. thought that being the wealthiest in the entire universe was where my true value lied. I thought I wouldn't have any value if I became poor. But that wasn't true. It was just my boring pride trying to convince me of my worth. Thank you, Sir Kilia. Thank you, everyone. I can see that clearly now. Hey, Serafina! Are you going to betray your father? Overload skill. True Brionac gaze! Now, father, release my servants. No, my allies from your trap. Yes, ma'am. As you desire, Madam Serafina. Huh? Oh! I can move! Huh? Serafina! What have you done? Do you have any idea what you've done? We're going to be poor now! You were complaining so much about not wanting to be poor! Father, will you listen to my feelings? Please stop being ridiculous! This all happened because you're a coward! If you weren't so cowardly and were more defiant, then you wouldn't have bankrupted us by investing in this shelter! Father, you're the cause of all this! You coward! Father, I'm not afraid of being poor anymore. I have all these brilliant allies by my side. Serafina? The Lost are here? The Rebel Army. We're here to take your heads. Okay. Time to bash some skulls. Ugh, 
I was really hoping that we would get to just beat the shit out of Seraphina's dad. Cause fuck that guy, right? Let's end this <laughs> quick! Well. It's my turn! It's my turn! Oh yeah, what is... Uh, control all melee units within five pin. Okay, so before it was charm them. Now it is control them. So I'm actually gonna wait to use that. Because it's a really good move. But unfortunately, I don't have any more than the range needed. Yeah, might as well do that. Yeah! Pop Sorokin over here. That guy's Sorokin is like, I was born, raised, and continue to live as a you poor guys, person. Let's but yeah, go. <laughs> poor people, pride. Gosh, let's go! Right there. It's my turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. 13 knights. Knights of the Round Table or something. Look how they're all different yeah. shades. Okay, so I'm guessing there are 13 strikes there, I just miscounted or something. Let's right, so charge, we've seen that. Knights. Oh, you need something you shouldn't have, and that is give Usalia her revenge mode. Um, so I'm going to use her overload skill right here. Because that's probably why they make every demon here a male, so you can do it. Okay, so I have no idea the range of some of these moves. It's a fine skill, but it's more or less just like, oh yeah, maybe I need this attack at some point. But I'm really OP, so I'm just gonna kill them all like that. So extreme, cool. My beloved daughter, Serafina, are you sure about this? We'll be poor. Can you accept that? <laughs> I'm fine with being poor. What's wrong with that? But I was only able to realize that thanks to my allies. Financial wealth and materialistic satisfaction are only temporary. Besides, if I seek happiness from money and possessions, I'll never be truly happy. I realize that now. Serafina. Seeking happiness from money and possessions will never make you happy, huh? <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever receive a lecture from my spoiled daughter. You've got great allies, and now, you can count yourself as a proud overlord. Live your life as you see fit. Father. Everyone, please keep taking care of my daughter, Serafina. Especially you. 
might be tough holding on to my daughter's reins, but please take care of her. Yeah, okay. As an ally. Father, allow me to show you how much your daughter has grown. Is something wrong, Lord Void Dark? The final spear has been destroyed. It must be the rebel army. Damn. I'll get rid of them right away. No. I've already gained enough power. Get ready for the ritual. Yes, my lord. <laughs> it's almost time. My dearest wish will finally come true. <laughs> <laughs> the time has come. Seraphine's secret end. The Demon Emperor finally begins attacking all the Netherworlds. Yo, all those the final battle for us, the Overlord Rangers, starts now. Ooh! Awesome! I'm so excited! Our final weapon, Grand Gorgeous King, will crush Void Dark along with his netherworld. We've done it! We are victorious! That was fast. Peace has been restored. Now, let's go, my lovely Serafina, on our sweet honeymoon. Everything's moving super fast! You're jumping too far ahead in the process of love, Flick! Next time on Tyrant Squad Overlord Rangers, Episode 15, The Honeymoon Explosion! Mine and Sir Killia's memory will be spun. Please cancel this show. <laughs> Please, just no. You're gorgeous. Ugh. So, one of the things that surprised me was that Seraphia's dad had an overload skill. Because I... Because the way I always interpreted it was, you had to be at least, like, a bit strong. He was a pretty shitty, crappy overlord. This is... The Pocket Netherworld and Gorgeous have become one? <laughs> Welcome to my high-speed, mobile-style netherworld, Gorgeous Reborn. Gorgeous's colossal underground shelter that my father constructed was modified into a mobile fortress. I... I see. In case of an emergency, he could simply escape by flying away. My father's cowardice has finally proven useful. But this Gorgeous Reborn isn't meant for escaping. It's for attacking. Th that's crazy, sis! I'm getting excited! I'm getting excited, too! Let's super break into wherever Void Dark is right now! Do you know where he is, Flip? Yes. There's no need to worry about that. I've pinpointed his exact location using my clairvoyance. But. But? Is there a problem, Flip? Yes. Void Dark is currently surrounded by heavy security and countless numbers of lost soldiers protecting him. And they're not ordinary demons. They are elite squads made up of individuals who have the potential to be overlords or Majins. Uh, are you serious? Oh, I'm starting to get stomach cramps. <laughs> what are you scared of, Zero? This will be a great warm up. Yeah, but I'd like to avoid exhausting myself before our fight against Void Dark. Kilia is right, Blit. We need a great idea in order to dodge our way past their security, Blit. <laughs> dodge their security? Why are you guys thinking on such a small scale? We can simply barrel through them with Gorgeous Reborn. Serafina, she seems completely unbound, Blit. She overcame the reality that she feared the most, becoming poor. I'm pretty certain nothing will scare her now. Arrows, guns, point dark, bring them all on! Uh, 
Episode 15, The Ultimate Skill. Ooh, I'm excited. Because we already have the final skill. It's the ultimate skill. There it is. That's the netherworld where Demon Emperor Void Dark is currently at. Dark Demise. This is the final fight. All right, let's go. Please wait, Sir Kilia. Before that, we need a harbinger. Prinnies, prepare for anti-netherworld combat. Open fire! Aye aye, dude! Hey, Serafina. Let's get rid of the excessive small fries first, okay? Small fries? They have the potential to be overlords or margins. Madam Serafina, it's ready, dude! Great job! Now, everyone, prepare the anti-shock, anti-flash defense! <laughs> ready? Aim! Now it's fire! some shades. Karate chop that uh, beam. Are you serious? That's my master for you. He's crazy powerful. This is no time to be complimenting him, Blip. <sighs> if that's how it's going to be, we'll just have to crash into them. We'll ram into them with Gorgeous Reborn and enter their netherworld. That is super extraordinary! <laughs> Oh well, she really is completely unbound. This isn't the time to relax. Everyone, brace for impact. Train even more at martial training, can now be suggested. Became 10. So I'm sure you can imagine, but this isn't the last chapter, because we're not able to go to zero yet. <laughs> but... We can go to 10, which does let us, like, do a lot. Like, look at this. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Boom, 460 plus. You can imagine the max is 500, because, you know, you only have so much more to go. Um, so, let's save first of all, because don't have to do that cutscene again. Uh, strategy assembly, how are you looking? Are you looking decent? Looking real decent. I wish I... Um, oh yeah, I want to see if there's anything. Change more colors of Rosalia. Ah, uh, yes, I can change this. even controlling. Ten thousand for that. 
with a 4% chance of success. Okay, how are you doing on that? Doing good. It's SF class, okay, you're doing good. Um, I won't even be able to suggest it. Um, okay. Uh, let's go do some events. Oh. Seraphina, are you hurt? Because they just literally crashed a thing. Okay, since you held me so close, I'd be able to innocent skin and even get a single scratch. Alright, but please don't do anything crazy like my <laughs> making netherworlds collide again. One of our allies could have died. You're so kind, I understand. Anyway, Seraphina has good luck. The impact flung her right in to kill ya. So you and I were about to super die. Red Magnus right, I'm still lightheaded. Uh -huh, that wasn't something as unreliable as luck or coincidence. What do you mean? Using the laws of motion, it's possible to predict where I'd be flying after the impact and I controlled my center of gravity. In other words, Sir Killia's heart, heart, and my heart, heart, were drawn together by fate. That is what I mean. <laughs> what is Sarah talking about? I don't super understand. She used physics? Did she calculate everything? Yup. <laughs> no, she couldn't have. She did, I think. You yep. thought wrong. Okay. Um. Do do do. do. Oh yeah. Destroy. I'm dumb. <laughs> Destroy. Uh. Better items. No duh. <laughs> Completely blew past my mind when I was thinking of some other things. What do you like? You like belts? I can give you. I can give you some belts. I got belts for yous. Yeah. There you go, bud. Here you go. Yeah, just take all these belts. Yeah, you love me now. You like muscles. Give me all your muscles. I want all the muscles. Give me every muscle you have. There you go. You love me? Good job. You like orbs? Don't got many of those. You like monster weapons? I got monster weapons. Yeah, man. There you go. Monster weapons of days. Big symbols. Big shoes. Speaking of. What? Nice! Give me what I wish for, or else die in a fiery blaze of glory. Thanks! Yeah, bitches. Uh, any other stuff? I could condense fragments of power. Which I will do, just because, you know. Let's go, uh, go, just go! Just managing inventory. <laughs> yeah, so he would have taken out me thank you. opposing uh, senators, but there were none. They all agreed with me because they knew what was good for them. Uh, okay, so let's save once again because I have done some stuff. Where would you like to go, let's dude? Watch this cutscene. Due to the thoughtless collision Madame Serafina caused, we are physically connected to your destination, dude! Now, there's no point of having a dimension gate, dude! I just cut out the hassle. Now, everyone, let us head out to our final battle! Uh... What's wrong, Usalia? Uh, um, I want to eat Kilia's curry before the final battle plan. Huh? But, Usalia... Wasn't your spell lifted? Yes, that's true. But I want to eat that curry one last time because it was what allowed me to meet you all. D don't say this is going to be the last time. But she's got a point. No army can fight on an empty stomach. I'm in. Julius curry. Yeah, it's making me drool just thinking about it. Oh. I think I'm starting to get hungry, too. Uh, oh, my. How unladylike of me to let my stomach growl. But to save my hunger and appetite, Sir Kilia? All right. You're all requesting curry? Curry could make me so happy. 
Yeah! <laughs> I'm glad you were able to find happiness in the little things that are right in front of you. Happiness in the little things? I never expected to hear something like that coming from you, old man. What's going on? This relaxed feeling before the final battle. It's caused by the trust we have in each other. I really want to thank you guys. Without all of you, I would have... There's no need to say anything more, Sir Kilia. After all, you have saved everyone here. She's right, bro. All for one and one for all, right? That isn't something a demon should say, but... It's all right. Even demons can have friendship in their hearts, Click. All right! I'm full from eating all this delicious food! Now, let's go out there and fight our super final battle! Lise, everything... everything is about to end. Okay. So, Outer Dark Demise. So, I'm guessing you can guess what the next map will be. It'll probably be Inner Dark Demise or something like that. Netherworld shrouded in darkness. It's magnetic field that sucks everything in. Okay. But, what I want to do is something different. Uh, because I want to do most of the maps of Dark Demise in one episode. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the best. Uh, what I do to grind and I want to get the next martial training map so what I am going to do is I'm going to equip Kilia with the Durndal because it has better stats than what he currently had equipped right yes quite quite a bit better and it has innocence awesome. that increase uh, mana Mana, what, what's my columns? Mana gain. Uh, so that I'm going to save, and uh, I'm going to go over here just so I can mark the how much mana I have. So I have almost seven thousand five hundred. I have seven thousand four hundred for all intents and purposes. Where would you like to go, dude? And what I'm going to do. It's martial training. Second trial. Let's go! These guys are weak to sword, which makes it easy. And rise in heaven. Let's then damn you! So you can get mana based on uh, the mana setting, but also based on the level of the characters that you defeat. <laughs> So these guys are like level Damn 200. You. They're not like particularly easy. It's just that I am super OP. Damn you! Okay. okay. I was at 7,416, I believe. So I just want to come out and show how much I have now. Now that. Uh, oh, I have another event waiting for. So, now, with that, I have a lot. Uh, I'm actually, now that I know that, uh, I might actually grind out the mana to get some of, like, the uh, greater abilities, like, off-screen. Uh, like, for this, like, increase attack during combos by 100%. That's amazing. Like, have him be the second in a combo or something because the combo goes as long as all in one execution I believe on the, or just one attack on a character boom I'm doing 100% more damage like, that's insane um, and uh, one of the interesting things is when, I, when you're mastering the subclasses uh, what that does lets you uh, get their unique abilities so you can purchase them that's also another uh, subclass uh, thing that is really useful. Okay. So the reason why I want to get the last 
uh, martial training is simply because the martial trainings are just good grinds. Like, they're better than... Uh, okay, so I might need to fight this one. So I want to get all the highest people uh, out of my face. So I'm going to try and get these like, super hating me guys into the like liking me portion. As long as they are higher leveled. Like you, you're drunk, so I can't really change what you're going to want. You like monster weapons. I have a few. And I'm not gonna really be using these. I don't even know why I'm saving them. Okay, now you have total support. Uh, I might actually need to fight this one out. Because uh, now, I kinda wish I had saved all those. Because I had sold, like, all the monster weapons that I had bought on a whim, but they were all clogging up my inventory. Like, I couldn't pick, I couldn't get more items because there's a max you can uh, have, which makes sense. But it's also kind of stucks. Su stucks. Stucks. Du -du -du -dups. You like symbols. You like axes. That's better. It is crazy when you think, like, Oh, weak, weak items are like, in the 600s. At, like, beginning of the game, you're like, Oh, yeah, I have a weapon that finally does, like, 100. And that's one of your best weapons. And now it's like, okay, yeah, this is... This is nothing. You like armor. Oh, I wasn't even in the armor section. I'm a dumb... And I still have a lot of wrinkly clothes, so good on me. I do find it interesting that they didn't put the gate key in, like, the symbol section. That is one that I do find interesting. And now that I know they like armor, well, of course I'm going to try and get rid of all these crappy level wrinkly clothes because I'm an idiot and bought way too much. And, eat, and I know they're like level 11, but less people I have to fight, if I do have to fight, the better. And if these go, guys vote I for me, then it's so much better. I do wish, though, that... Uh... Ooh, you like spears. I can... Are there any higher level ones of you guys? You're level 11? No? Okay, cool. Um, not sure how many spears I have, but... <sighs> uh... But I do, this is one of the ones where I wish, like, oh man, I wish someone from my team had joined. Okay. Uh, I think this is about as... Well, I guess I might as well do it for later ones. Because I'm not going to be using these spears. They're, they're just not worth it. Like, I could sell them, but I have money. And I have ways of grinding money. So let's begin the battle. Okay, so that was good. Let me thank you. Got the best third trial. I'm not sure if there's going to be a fourth trial in martial training, but there might be. So what I need to your do heart's before, content. I, before I do it is uh, gotta put the XP all the way up just to see what I get, um, and I need to put that down because remember. Last time I got martial training too, it was at 100 and, uh, 150 for just no star. Like, with no stars, the people were at level 1. Where would you like to go, dude? So I'm actually going into this sort of expecting it not to not be at the, like, the necessary level. Because, yeah, enemy turbo, and they're all at 200. So, Let's go. this might actually be a toughie. Strike that. Nope. Let's end this quick. I forgot that Kilia is literally just the most OP bastard in the world. And 
I need to level Pena. So let's see if I can let's see if I can kill him. Oh god, she won't even do damage to him. Um Here I go! Let's do Zeta. Activation. I'm the badass! Oh my god. He's not even weak. You guys, let's super go! Lion King's Edge. Oh, damn, I wish I had seen that. Okay, so Testament is, like, essentially the next level of uh, increased rate. Okay. And they all just leveled from however much bonus XP that was. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately go back in. Because I only lost SP and whatnot. So now, instead of Turbo, it is now XP and mana plus 10. Okay, good. It's still testing. So what I'm going to do is all men are my servants. Uh, damn, she isn't strong enough to one hit him. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to have every character essentially come out and use. Oh, where is it? Is it under here? No. Yes. Okay. So I have these items, the fillers. Fill her up X, X's. Do it by three. So I only have to Daddy's a bad do it a couple times. Overlord. And I, I, I save these specifically for times like this. It's like, I really want the item at the top. So now, I'm gonna get it. Guaranteed. Me too! Um, so you do quite a bit of damage. They are not, they have no resistance to, uh, her thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop out her, do that. She probably won't kill anyone. Salia would definitely kill all of them with this attack. Boom. And you know you leveled up, I believe, more than once when there's that star on the yeah, and then they just got another level, both of them, because of that. Okay, so now there's a bunch of netherworlds complete. I want to show Testament. So look at that, Testament. Like, all 577, the HP is because of the dietitian. Like, that is insane. And it's legendary, which means it's a rare item. Which means it's going to give a bonus when matched with other ones. And I'm going to go to the item world and annihilate this thing. Like, it is going to be awesome. So I'm going to save immediately. What? So, uh, you can probably tell that once I finish this episode, which I'm going to be finishing it quite soon, Come on. Uh, I am going to be doing that Come for on. the next little bit. Come on! I'll make you boneless, key! Okay, get more items. I can. Uh, sacrifice. Underwhelming. Okay, so Serene Salon, where are you? There you Let's are. Let's go. Here. Oh, I didn't see it. Okay, oh, that was weird. Okay. All these. Grand. Do. This one is too weak. Yeah, I guess I'll just confirm that one because I need I have a boss I need to just beat, which will destroy the Netherworld, which is honestly something I want. So now it's always 217 because Let's go. of what just happened. So she is insanely powerful. I still have my XP bumped. Neil. Even though I should probably have my mana bumped. Leave it to me, Let's go! Ah. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry! Neil. Everything is just gonna cause a lot of Because when the XP is bumped that high, you guys, like, it's just, it's done. <laughs> like, you just get levels. 
Counter is what saved it. Now, what should I do? Uh, Craig, Here I go. go. I will never run away anymore. Uh, so the key to that last martial training is definitely being able to take all that in like one shot. You okay? So that's what you want to do. You want to be able to take out all the enemies at once. That way, you can quickly start the next one. While yeah, dude. Uh, also getting maximum efficiency in terms of uh, leveling your characters. Of course, it may take a bit. You may have to like put Let's someone in quick. the uh, in the XP camp that way because like they can't naturally do it at the level they're in. Yeah. Uh, thank you. But all men are my uh, servants. You should try and always get to be great. able to do it by themselves. I will never run away anymore. Yeah. Don't get yeah. super reckless. Yeah. <clears throat> Carry. <laughs> you okay? Okay. So, and then Gorgeous is also there. done. There! Okay, cool. There! Any other ones that are complete magic colors? And that's because I just did your thing. Okay. So now I have all those. Eternal Moon, New Netherworld. Um, so let's, let's fix heal you up. up. And then we'll end the episode with this conversation, so I don't have to worry about it uh, during the off time. Serafina, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, what is it you keep? I'm not lending you any money. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask for that. I'm poor, I don't care. That kind of pissed me off, but well, alright, it was the favor you wanted. Do you remember that laser you fired before we got to Void Darks? Oh, do you mean Gorgeous Born Superb Flash Particle Cannon? <laughs> That's what it's called? It was so cool. Please let me shoot it once. I just want to shoot the big laser. Let me shoot the big laser. No. In a heartbeat. Come on, please. I've always been a fan of laser cannons since I was little, because that's a thing that's common in the netherworlds. You can say that I've been living my life for the chance to shoot a laser beam, but I'm pretty sure I gave you, like, a laser beam gun, dude. At one point. With a stupid life, it suits you perfectly. So please, I'll do anything you say, sis. Unfortunately, I can't let you. What? Why not? Let me shoot the laser, 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 laser. This kid doesn't have any manners. First of all, we don't have enough energy to fire the cannon. It'll be a while before we'll be able to charge back up. Seriously? That's so lame. Which I do about this hard-boiled feeling I have for lasers. I just can't contain my feelings. Use that feeling for combat. Okay. So, with that, I am going to end episode 35, which was a really fun episode. This episode was really good, because I felt like I did a lot of stuff. Or at least prepared for a lot more stuff, in terms of stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. So, Buddy Bison, signing out. Hope you all have a very nice day. I will see you guys in episode 36. Ha, 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 ha.